Hey everybody, we're on episode 41 already of the Super Duty, the Army Super Duty build. In episode number 40, we were working on the rudder pedals. Well, those are done, so I have the actual rudder pedals at the powder coaters getting powder coated, and I'll show you what else I have here. All right, I have all four of the hinges done and drilled and I actually have them marked one, two, three, and four, just so I know what pedal it goes on. And so I can get these primed and painted and I have my four rudder pedals here. Now I haven't, I haven't sanded the edges or anything yet. I still need to do that. But I can also add this rubber anti-slip tape to the pedals here, just like I did on my cruiser. Once that is done, and I get my pedals back, I can rivet it on the hinges, um, you know, match drill the holes, the three holes here for each pedal, and I'll be able to install the pedals into the airplane. So do you guys remember how I was saying I had to add these brackets to the right side so I could add the brakes on the right side? You'll notice I have three black ones and one silver one. The reason this one is silver is just to be honest with you guys, when I was drilling up from the bottom, this one moved a little bit and now this hole was in the wrong place. So this bracket is actually crooked on here and I can't get the bolt in here. So more money, I have to order another one from Zenith. Now I'm using my 48 inch brake to bend these hinges into that curve. So what I do is just kind of start at the top of the hinge, bend it a little bit, pull it out, bend it some more, pull it out and bend it some more. And eventually you get a rather nice curve. Now, if you don't have a bending brake, you can also put these in a vise and kind of tap them over with a hammer. That's how I had to do it on my cruiser. But this bending brake I have worked really nice to bend a curve in these hinges. Here's a finished one and you can see it looks pretty good. Now I'll just draw a line down the center of each of them and that's where the line of rivets will go. And you just find the correct position of where you want it on the rudder pedal itself. And then I'm using my rivet fan to evenly space four rivet holes on the back of that hinge. It's a really handy tool to have. Here are the four holes. Now I'll just center tap them and drill them. All right, I have two hinges here. This one is done and you can see I've rounded off the corners up here and down here. And then this one I haven't drilled or done yet. You can see it has these sharp 90 degree corners. Uh, so now these are, these are nice and round, they're not sharp and the holes are drilled. And now all I have to do is match drill it here to the uh, rudder pedal. All right, you can see I have one hole already drilled in here and all I did was just position this on here, draw it, I used a center punch, drilled the hole and what I'm going to do now is just Clico the hinge on and now with the number 20 drill bit I'll just go through and drill each of those holes. I found it just a little bit easier to put the number 20 drill bit in there and just mark where the hole is and then I took the hinge off and drilled the hole with the smaller drill bit, then open it up to the correct size. Then I can put the hinge back on, and once two Clecos were in, then I could just finish drilling the rest of the holes. Now it seems like it took me a good half a day to do this, but I have the, uh, the top engine mounts, and you'll see in a minute also the bottom engine mounts drilled. And for those aluminum gussets you see there in the corner, a little tip I have for you is just to be careful on how you put those on because it is possible to put the left side on the right side and the right side on the left side. So make sure you have it on there correctly. And again, every hole I drill, I vacuum up all the chips just because I don't want them working their way into little nooks and crannies inside the fuselage. Here it's completely drilled. I just need to open them up to the correct size. I now have the left side completely done. The right side is also completely done, but I'm just priming that aluminum piece. All the holes are drilled and I've clecoed this piece onto the front here. My engine mount and cowling should be here in May. 
So once I get that, I can drill these holes and then really rivet this together. But I can't think of any reason why the firewall would need to come out again. So I think that I am okay to go ahead and rivet these stiffeners on and even uh, the firewall there I can rivet. Riveting is the most fun part. I love riveting parts together, but I always try to wait until the last minute just in case I do have to disassemble things. But like I said, I can't think of any reason why this firewall needs to come back out again. So I think I'm gonna do some riveting. Here's what it looks like from the inside. The rivets aren't painted, but I think it looks pretty good just as it is. Well, your guy's favorite YouTuber came over to give me a hand here. So Brian's gonna hold these lower engine mount brackets in place. And what I'm doing on the bottom of the airplane is using a drill bit to go through the open holes just to mark on the mounts where the holes need to be drilled. We are really moving along with some nice progress. I'll show you where I'm at now. All of the engine mounts are done. I don't have them on here, but they're drilled. And Brian came over earlier and helped me install, or at least drill, these engine mounts here. These are the lower engine mounts. There they are. There is a little piece of a metal or aluminum that goes under those mounts, but they're drilled and ready. And I think I mentioned previously, I did order my engine mount and cowling, but it'll get here in May. Once I get the engine mount, I'll drill out the four mounting holes, which is that one right there, and then up here in the corner. And once all that is mounted, everything up here can get riveted. Well, I figured since I don't have the airplane on the gear yet, I'm seeing what else I can get done. So I might as well start working on this top glare shield piece. And right here, I'm just drawing some lines where it gets cut. With those two lines drawn, I'll, pr I'll put down some protective tape and I'll use this little saw to cut out this little square in the uh, glare shield. Obviously with this cut out now, you need to file the edges smooth and clean them up. And that's what I'm doing with the file right here. You're also going to note that all of these sharp round, or all those sharp 90 degree corners, I'm going to round off just to make it look better and prevent any scratches on your skin or cuts just from having those really sharp 90 degree corners. Here you see the bottom edge or corners rounded. And if you look at the Y part, you can see on the left there, I haven't done it yet. And on the right, you can see it's, it's rounded. And just how much better it looks and how less likely you are to get a cut on your skin if you happen to be working in that area. Now, I'm going to share with you guys what I think is the most difficult part of building a Zenith airplane, whether you're building a cruiser or a Super Duty. And that is the glare shield skin. I had a heck of a time getting mine to fit on the cruiser. And again, I'm having a heck of a time getting this to fit on the Super Duty. And here's one thing I wanna point out before I say it, it doesn't fit. You'll notice it has pre-drilled holes here and pre-drilled holes here. Obviously these holes go into the panel and there's already holes drilled in the panel too around the perimeter and then the these holes go into the firewall. Now there's no holes drilled in the firewall, so what you do is you, you drill down through here and match these holes. The problem I'm having though, is that if I put these holes over the firewall, then these holes here, well here you can see how it is, see how those, the, the holes are past the panel? I can't move the panel out any because it's sitting on this bar. So it's like there's, there's too much space between those holes and these holes. And if I 
if I go on this side first, and, and I can Clico every one of these holes to the panel, but what that does is that pushes this whole glare shield forward to now where these holes are basically just like the panel. These holes are not on the firewall. So, you know, I'm not going to say it's incorrect or the holes are drilled yet, because the more I play with it, the more it starts to kind of get in alignment, but I can't seem to find that magic spot to where I can get both holes to align. And that is the story of airplane building. I'm showing you this just to let you know that it's not all roses, right? You're not gonna come into the hangar every day and just start clicking parts together and riveting them. There's a lot of areas on an airplane that require just a lot of thought and a lot of figuring out. I've probably been in my hangar for hours yesterday and today, just staring at this, trying to figure out how I can make it work or trying to move it around and, and do different things with it. So I'm frustrated right now because I really wanted to get this on. I wanted to get the panel kind of fit and drilled out before I go to work tomorrow. This is my last day off and now I'm just, I'm stuck. I can't, I can't get it to fit. Um, maybe I'll get some other eyeballs in here and, and maybe between me and my neighbors, we can figure it out. Or maybe the holes just are drilled in the wrong spot and maybe Zenith will have to send me a new skin. Um, like I said, I had a lot of trouble with my glare shield skin on the cruiser and eventually I got it to fit. Um, so it could be the same with this. It might just seem like it doesn't fit right now, but the more I play with it, I might, might somehow get it into position to where it does work. <laughs> but uh, I have too many other things to do today before I go back to work tomorrow. So I think I'm done in the hangar. So I'll end this video here. Thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate you guys following along on the, the, uh, the channel with this build. I'm doing a little bit of upgrades to the cruiser. So when that's done, um, I'll tell you what I'm doing and then uh, hopefully we'll get a good flying video with the cruiser in there too. So until episode 42, see you later.